Welcome to the Canva Classroom, everybody. Today, I wanna to walk through on how I created a pop-up design. You're gonna to go to your Canva homepage, create a design, and click Instagram post. Should work for any size, and I'm actually pasting in some that I've already done. I created this one, and this one, I think this one's really funny with the guy jumping out of an image in an office with the beach background. I did a Think Media Challenge and posted this one on Instagram. I thought it was really funny. There's this one. And of course, my personal favorite is the trombone guy just popping right out of the picture as if he is going on to the marching band field because he wants to play one more time. How do we do that? Go to elements and we need Instagram post. And there's several. And let me see if there's a free one. So this one's free. There are a couple that are free that you could use, but the one that I'm using is Instagram frame illustration. It is a Canva Pro vector. We're just gonna grab a beach photo. That one might work. Next thing you'll do is grab an office setting. I think this is the one that I used. And size it to the Instagram post. I do want to make one small adjustment right click send backwards this is the basic image now you do not want to download it at this point because you need to be able to do some fun stuff next we're going to look up business businessman leaping with briefcase photos here it is businessman leaping with briefcase when you click it, it pops up on your design and I'm gonna work with it here on a blank canvas. Click your image, edit image, background remover. This is why it's easier with Canva Pro because it's much faster than downloading the image, putting it into remove BG, re-uploading it. And I'm just gonna slide it down here. And I'm just gonna slide it down here and make it bigger. Now that looks great itself, but here's what we're gonna do. Edit image, we're gonna add a shadow. Now, here's the deal. The shadow can mess up the image. It can mess up the size of the image, and I bet it's gonna get smaller. We're just gonna add a drop shadow. Actually, not shrink that much. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this time twice to see if it will do it again because right click, send him backwards. If he does change size and he winds up not being the same size, if I put him on top, he looks really, really close. I'm gonna use my keyboard to move, it's really close. I'm gonna zoom it back out. Basically, what I want is for his knee to be on top, hand to be in front, but leg to be behind. There's some white flat lines. I'm gonna take this and slide it over just like this. I'm just gonna slide it over until about his knee and you will see now we've got the one with his knee in front and his leg and hand are behind and now take the third image, stack it right on top. We're gonna bring this one up. Remember to tap the like button if you like the tips and tricks you are learning. This can go over just to make sure that there's no funny business with the hand or the head and click out and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna double check to make sure 
by enlarging the zoom and I'm not seeing any funny edges in the pants. If I had a shadow on his leg, there would be a funny line here. That's why I chose not to put a shadow on his overlaying leg. Look at this. That one shouldn't have anything funny there. Let's look at the hand. I think the hand's pretty good. It might could go down, so I'm gonna go on the keyboard and move it down one pixel. That looks better. And now let's make it regular size and go, oh, that looks, that's it. That's perfect. That's the Instagram post I want to share. Download, you download as a PNG. And of course, choose the correct page. A little tip is to uncheck the all pages and then scroll down and check the one you want. And download. If you wanted, you could do it differently and make the foot come out instead of the knee. So it could look like that instead. You could have the hand oh, behind as well instead. And you will see that it is not right because when I go like that, it is off. So left keyboard over to the left a couple pixels that cleans that up right away if for some reason you wanted to change view all 1205 comments you could add a rectangle r on your keyboard for rectangle and cover it up make it the same color as that. So that's the same color. And then you can add your text box to fix that however you want. If you want to get rid of the text, or even if you wanted to get rid of it so that it did not look like an Instagram post, are on the keyboard for rectangle, and that's it. I wanted these five images to be one of the first things I shared on the community tab. Some commented that they would love a lesson on how to create the pop-out design. I immediately went to work on the planning process. If you have any questions or comments about this function, drop them in the comments below. If you love today's tutorial, I recommend checking out one of the masking lessons, which is on the left-hand side of your screen. Thanks for learning with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.